Hey, this is Nick with another Builder Trend tutorial, and today we're talking about a brand new feature, the new AI-generated client updates. Really excited about this feature. It's brand new. I'm going to demo it for you today. And if you are interested in our end-to-end -end course on Builder Trend that's coming out soon, go ahead and join the waitlist. We have a link in the description, a link right here in the video. Join the waitlist so that you get updates on when that course is coming out, and you get, of course, special pricing. But let's dive into this awesome new feature, the new client uh, updates. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to show it to you. But what does it mean uh, to see this update come? First of all, Builder Trend continues to iterate and improve, right? And they are really good at this. It's an amazing piece of software. But what Builder Trend does really well is they listen to us, they listen to builders, they listen to what their clients want, and they make improvements. They did so last year with the job costing budget, listening to their builders who are using cost plus instead of fixed price. They're doing great with that. And here they're listening to their builders and saying, it's a little bit tough to get those really important updates out to the customer. BT has given us a really cool feature that I'm going to show you in a second. Secondly, client communication updates remains a priority. I think this is where BT really stands aside as a really good piece of software. This is why I switched. I wasn't getting what I needed from CoConstruct as far as the client portal is concerned. BT gives me a really good client portal and this client communication through the updates is great as well. And lastly, BT is finding use to use uh, AI, right? And that's really cool. So they're doing it with the generated summary, which I'm going to demonstrate for you. And you can tell that a lot of things are in the works with it. So let's get into BT. Let me show you exactly what this new feature is and how you can use it as well. So what I have here is just a job that uh, has been a lot of things going on with it. So a lot of daily logs. We have some invoicing as well. Just plenty of regular activity. These daily logs from last week have photos attached to them. We obviously have a schedule that's been going on. We have some invoices as well that have happened. So just a lot happening with this project. And so what Builder Trend has given us is if I go to project management here, they have this client updates. This is brand new as of last week. That was the first time I, I noticed it. Here I am in, in mid-March 2025. So it's a brand new feature as of last week. And we click on this here. It's going to give us this little client update ready for review. And so it started to create this little client update thing. And I haven't done anything yet. My project manager hasn't done anything yet. You can see it's kind of ghosted out photos. When I click on this, it's going to bring me to this really cool dialogue where it's grabbing a bunch of stuff, looks like by default, okay? And I didn't do anything yet. And basically it's grabbing all this stuff really just based on the date. So it's finding these action items. It's finding some selections, a change order that was um, created an invoice as well. Here's upcoming uh, schedule items and here's some completed items as well. So there's a really a lot of stuff and I could decide what to include or not, or I could just select all. And I'm just gonna do that. And we can edit these later, by the way. I've been learning about this as well as we go. So it, it's also grabbing all the photos from my daily logs from last week. I can add more from Builder Trend or I can add more from my computer, my phone, whatever. And the last cool thing here is generate AI summary. Okay, so I can click on this and it's going to grab information from my to-dos, from my schedule, from what's been going on and try to give my customer an update as to what's going on with the project. Okay, and you can see that it's doing a pretty good job at least to start with the summary. And of course, notice I got my cursor here. I can get in here and make some adjustments. Right, so I can say uh, I can maybe make something bold, okay, if that made sense for any reason. Right, we can change headers, we can add to this as well. You know, uh, big, uh, big week ahead, have to make sure the site is clear and ready for work, whatever the case is. Right, so we can do all that stuff within here, okay, and then when we're ready for it, I can preview it, and this is previewing from the customers view in their um, in their client portal and then I can publish it. I can edit it here or I can click publish. So I'm gonna click publish. All right, and that is now out there. I can edit it if I need to make some adjustments and I, of course I can go to the client portal to view it as well. All right, and we can comment on it, okay? So this is super brand new, right? Really exciting stuff. And again, this just goes to show that they're making iterations on this. Now, what I would love for them to be able to do and, and um, maybe help us with is can they, you know, update the dates? You know, can we make it right now? This goes from Monday to Monday. I'd love it to be like Sunday through Friday. So I'm interested in that. You know, maybe they'll they'll get better at that. But other than that, I think it's a really good start um, for this really essential functionality that we are certainly going to use quite a bit.
All right, so um, I'd love to know your comments on this. What do you think this might be lacking and, and what do you think could be the future of this feature? But this is a great example of how they're iterating and I'd love for you to let me know your thoughts on it. Be sure to check out all the videos we have on Builder Trend. We have an amazing playlist going. We're gonna keep adding more. And again, make sure you join the waitlist for the course that is coming out soon. I'll see you in the next video.